So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So unexpectedly, what I have here today is a 2020 Ford Transit. But this is not any ordinary Ford Transit. This one has been modified by Atoys Customs. They are really known for setting up like home or airplane style vans like this one for example. So we'll get to that in a bit. So on the exterior of this Ford Transit, it's mod of huge so you can see the bubble roof extension above that's already more or less 300,000 peso option okay it's your usual for transit it's already outdated by today's standard that's why it's no longer being sold here in the philippines but as far as i know this is as well the last everyone sold locally here in our country maybe just here in Luzon because this specific one is from Fort Quezon Avenue so as well this specific one is for sale this one cost three and a half million pesos so like a million more than the stock price itself but we will get to why it is really expensive but very much worth it I have to say. So on the side profile I literally have to go one street away because like literally one of the largest things I've ever seen. So being the only variant of the Ford Transit you get steel wheels too and we go to the rear yeah it's bubbly and it's a split type door at the rear and you have a transit badge there too. The transit badge is so big it's already the size of my arm including the Ford badge itself so yeah a lot of big stuff here with this Ford Transit so as well with the engine it's a 2.2 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine so it is a detuned version of the previous gen Ford Ranger FX4 and below so this is gonna be probably the scariest thing I'll ever dive because this one's a manual transmission now you all know I love manual transmissions but look at this clutch that is so deep that's what she said but it is so deep and the bite is so weird so a little bit worrisome just being honest and this again a six speed manual transmission yeah i see why a lot of people have a hard time driving this i literally told the owner i will only do one lap because i think i will stall this car for sure but i won't be surprised if i don't know but i am a bit scared so Anyway, back to this Ford Transit here now in the interior. It's your usual Ford. Not gonna lie, I do miss this part of the center console. It reminds me of the what the older Ford Focus and old Fiesta. And there's a cubby space right there where I'm pointing up. It is literally perfect for my vlogging camera. But I'm not sure if that's a good idea while moving though. So here in the door card as well. Yet again, opening the door, it is mother flipping huge. So we have cubby spaces, cup holders on each side. Fits my big water jug perfectly. And as well, they're like Two more cup holders on each side, so fits what walkie talkies again with my water jug and next the space down here. Then usual for the stuff here. You have your light controls down below as well with your side mirror adjustments. And then you have an analog speedometer, analog tachometer with a little multicolored display in the middle. Reminds me of yet again like the older fiestas. And then the steering wheel. Oh, look at that. Enough squish in it. It's your thing, but it's alright, I guess. And then usual stocks here. Then on the right side of the instrument cluster, you have your heating control functions. And on the left side, you have your parking sensor button that will come really handy later on. So below the center console, you have air conditioning. And then glove box. All right, pretty decent. It can fit an air filter. And then this. Ooh! <laughs> yep, I'm not gonna do this while moving. With these seats too, these are all customized as well, applies in the back too. As far as I know, the stock one or only cloth central armrest you can fit my water jug but the leather is in the way so you have to watch out for that so here in the middle you have a manual handbrake and a 230 volt outlet right down below and then above here you have air conditioning controls i'm not sure if this still functions since the ones in the back are all customized now you have lights here then above way above here you have extra storage a one din radio light controls and then visors these are the largest sun visors I've ever seen. There's no mirror, but you have a ticket clip holder. As you can see in the camera, <laughs> this is huge. I mean, I like its quirkiness. This is so cool. It's huge. i never seen that. So, the business end of this Ford Transit is at the rear. So, this is the business end of the Ford Transit. What I say? Budget Rolls Royce. <laughs> There's a TV in here. So this will just be a little bit of a POV style review here at the back because there's a lot to talk about. 
So, you have captain seats here. One of the most comfortable captain seats I've ever tried. Feels like I'm at home. And then there are two saddles here for your feet. And then there's an extra storage just beside your feet. So, close you up. Yeah, so there is a remote for this. That's for your main lights. Oh, wow, that's better. <laughs> Alright. You can even change color if you want or make it brighter. Ooh, look at that. Alright, you can even change colors. Or, ooh. <laughs> right, I like that. Let's keep it at that. Oh, you can change the hue. Right, this is my jam. Oh no, one as bright as possible and as red as possible. It's, I love this remote. It's so sensitive, but in a good way. That it responds everything to my command. So that's. No! So this remote. Controls the lights. Let's not forget. Put your back on red. Come on. There you go. That's red enough. There. Perfect. Red. That's red. So, remote number two. This little guy. This remote controls this one. Yeah, it controls the stars. Rolls star style up above. Oh, you can even change color. That's not. This is not. I don't want to leave now. <laughs> Yellow. Oh my god. Oh! This is this is this is so nice. Oh no purple. Green blue. Oh I love it. Hey, leave it all red. I love red. So unique too with this Ford Transit, it has an onboard Wi-Fi. Well it's PLDT home Wi-Fi, but that's good enough since it's still a Wi-Fi. And you have a GMA for the box along with a Sony Bravia TV. This is the actual TV that we have at our house. Oh, I, I am loving this place. So we have as well, you can see there, two air conditioning vents. As well over here on this side. And I am so freaking comfortable now. I, I don't want to leave. <laughs> we have four cup holders up there in front. Fits my big water jug perfectly. And then you see this, this is an air conditioning system. So actually the controls are still function done. I showed you up above along with the one din radio. And then captain seats, there's a lot of adjustments here, but I won't demo it anymore because it might take too much time. So on the left side you have array of USB ports and more light controls here. Oh my oh my god, you can party in here! And I love that clicking sound, if you can hear. <laughs> this is so cool. Right, uh, I will leave that on. I need light. And this is the advantage of that bubble roof. I can I can literally stand here. And literally party with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to 8 people in here. Ah, oh, this is such a nice place. Now, this will be an ideal road trip car. So down here, you have two more seats. As well, there are like 9 cup holders kind of fits my water jug but at least there is and there's three more cup holders here they fit my big water jug but as you can see this this one is a bit useless because it hits this part of the wall but you can put extra keys here with if your friends if they just want to ride here and then you have another seat over here this is the only part that has a 12 volt socket oh there's more usb ports right down there below and along with two 20 volt outlets so that applies there for that side too Let's go here at the rear. There's another seat here. All the seats here are so comfortable. I'm gonna have my merienda here later. You noticed earlier, I said 8 people. But there are only 7 seats here. So, in this stock Ford Transit, this used to be a toilet. But for this Atois Custom, it's an extra storage. So, I even hilariously joked with the owner, you can put someone in jail here. I mean, it's cozy here too. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, look at that. There's an air conditioning vent here. Yeah, you can fit an emergency person here. If, I mean, look. You can fit two more people. You can fit ten people in here. So that's what I said as well. You only can access the this part of the door. Because this one is already blocked by the extra storage here. It's literally like a cabinet in here. I'm enjoying this store. Not gonna lie. So, enough of my annoying POV shots and fanboying over this so here are more b-rolls of this entire interior and with that let's try to go for a drive
Okay. Oh. Was that bad? Yeah, off the line it will be a bit difficult, but once you get moving. Alright. <laughs> not not as bad as I expected. Oh you can feel the rumble of the clutch, this is so creepy. You do have to rev it out a bit to get it moving though. Yeah, and as well, being a for transit, you have to watch the way too. Oh! Despite being a very big van, the, the steam feels light. Wow, that's good. And the brakes are really high. Like, I gotta say, like what they've driven with the Ranger earlier, it's that stiff. Suspension test. Okay, actually, it's really comfortable, even though you're sitting here in the driver's seat. Okay, I see why this was actually a popular choice internationally. I mean, here, yeah, it's kind of difficult. And as well, I wish they didn't detune this engine with along with the Ford Ranger because I know 133 ish horsepower isn't great for a big van like this, as well being modified too. Oh, keep going. Actually, it's not too bad. When you get up to speed, in no time too. I mean, there's a lot of torque. It's a diesel engine. And this as well, one of the most proven diesel Ford diesel engines out there. Having a little bit of experience with me with the Ford Ranger FX4. Actually, I like this. I didn't expect this at all. I'd rather be in the back, not gonna lie. Okay, yeah, yeah, there you go. I'm having a work time a bit. There you go. Alright. So at low RPM, it's, it will stuck a little bit, but once you get going, not, not too bad. Oh, that's not bad for a, what, three ton van. Yeah, what else to say? It's a van. I love it. And as well, Contact me or the owner, the contact this one with the description down below. I highly recommend this one since this one has been modified by Atois. You'll feel like a first class VIP there in the back. So hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more future car reviews and more vans. If this is a truck, whatever. Anyway, bye bye. Time to eat. <laughs>